Sioux Falls, S. D. South Dakota Republican and Democratic legislators alike said Wednesday they want more details from Governor Christy Noem's administration on a meeting last year that included the governor, her daughter and state employees overseeing an agency that had moved to deny her daughter's application to become a certified real estate appraiser. In response to the report from the Associated Press this week, the legislature's Government Operations and Audit Committee will look into the matter when it meets at the end of October, according to the committee chairman, State Senator Kyle Schoenfisch. The Republican governor has dismissed the report as an attack on her family, but lawmakers from within her party said they want answers from her administration on what happened. Sean Fish, a Republican, said the committee is still working out the details of how it will address the issue. Republicans, who hold supermajorities in the legislature, will ultimately determine how far-ranging the inquiry is. The AP reported Monday that Nome last year summoned to her office a state employee who was overseeing her daughter's appraiser license application, just days after the agency moved to deny her the license. After the meeting, Noam's daughter, Cassidy Peters, was not denied a license, according to the Department of Labor and Regulation. Peters eventually received her certification four months later on November 25, 2020. A week after Peters received her license, the state employee who directed the agency was allegedly pressured to retire by Noam's cabinet secretary. The state employee, Sherry Bran, eventually received a $200,000 payment from the state to withdraw an age discrimination complaint and leave her job. The governor's office declined to answer questions from the AP on what was discussed in the meeting. On Wednesday, her spokesman Ian Fury did not immediately respond to a request for comment on the legislature looking into the episode. He earlier dismissed the initial report as a political attack on the governor. I want to know specifically in that meeting, what were the discussions? Said Democratic Rep. Linda Duba, adding that the meeting would have been extremely intimidating for the state employee who was overseeing Peters. Republican Rep. Randy Gross, who is the vice chair of the committee, said he was refraining from any speculation on what happened but wanted to hear from Noam's administration to get a reliable sequence of activities or events. I want to be accurately informed, he said, Noam, 49, has generated speculation about a possible 2024 White House bid by forming a federal political action committee assisting with campaigns across the country and attending many of the same events as other potential GOP hopefuls.